Tuesday's UT stabbing attack trial, where a judge declared Kendricks White not guilty by reason of insanity, left many of the victims and their families with questions about whether more could have been done to keep students safe. After the attack, White was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Doctors say he couldn't distinguish what was real and what wasn't. Before the attack, he'd had several stays in mental health facilities. KX and Alyssa Gord took their concerns to UT's Director of Counseling and Mental Health Services. There might be uh, bigger systems to blame, like how to take care of our mentally ill better. Doctors who evaluated Kendricks White explained one month before the stabbing, he had a mental breakdown. They believe the academic stress at UT contributed to it. Sometimes students go to college and because of the age that they are, it's the first time that they experience um, an anxiety attack and an episode of depression. What are we going to do to be proactive? UT parents like Joelle McNew want to know, with a student population of 51,000, what can UT do to keep them from slipping through the cracks? I think there needs to be a really strong statement coming back from UT about the focus of what are we going to do about mental health well-being. Chris Brownson explained in recent years the university has focused more on getting students and employees to report when they think the people around them are in trouble. We call it bystander intervention. Since the stabbing, he says UT has added counselors and opted to waive the fees students used to have to pay for counseling appointments. And so seeking mental health services really does help and people can get better. He says UT's numbers show more people are seeking help each year and he wants to continue those conversations. But I want I want this to be a place where anybody who has any kind of issue on campus in need of, of any kind of support, that this is the place they come first. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. Members of the UT community who are worried about the behavior of a student, faculty, or staff member on campus are asked to call the Behavioral Concerns Advice Line. That number is 512-232-5050. And keep in mind, you can remain anonymous.